today we will learn about a very important theorem that is Cali Hamilton based on the matrices. So we will see the statement, its applications, and then we'll see the use of this theorem in these applications. So let us understand what is the statement of the Cali Hamilton theorem. It says that every square matrix must satisfy its own characteristic equation. That means it is a relation between a matrix and its characteristic equation. And it says that every square matrix must satisfy its own characteristic equation. So if we write the statement of this in mathematical expression, then uh, this is the uh, characteristic equation of a matrix. Uh, we have already seen how we can calculate the characteristic of a matrix. We will do it here today in this video as well. So uh, this is a, a0 a constant, then identity matrix, a1 capital A, this is the matrix, this is a, a to a square and so on, this should be equal to 0. Basically this is the characteristic equation where we had replaced the lambda with the matrix A itself. So we will understand this. Before we understand this, let's uh, let's see the applications of this uh, Cayley-Hamilton theorem. So we can use this Cayley-Hamilton theorem to find the powers of the matrices. So let's say if we want to find out A square, A cube and so on, then we can use this Cayley-Hamilton theorem. We also use this theorem to find the inverse of the matrices. We have already seen how to find the inverse of the matrices with uh, uh, many other ways like with the adjoint method and uh, the other so we can also use the Cali Hamilton theorem to find the inverse of a matrix. It is also to solve linear differential equations and it is also used in the control theory. Now let us understand uh, this Cali Hamilton theorem in detail. So let us consider that this is a matrix A and we need to find out the characteristic equation of this matrix A. So the characteristic equation would be obtained from the characteristic matrix. So the characteristic matrix would be 1 minus lambda 0. 0, 2 minus lambda and now we will expand this matrix to get the characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation would be in this case the expansion would be 1 minus lambda multiplied by 2 minus lambda and we will multiply this. So this would be 2 minus lambda minus 2 lambda and plus lambda square. So this becomes uh, 2 minus 3 lambda plus lambda square. Now we need to compare this. We can see this is the characteristic equation and in this characteristic equation we need to replace this lambda by the matrix itself A and this should be equal to 0. That means it should satisfy. So here we can say uh, according to the Cali Hamilton theorem this would be 2 minus 3 dot A in place of lambda, we will replace A. Here with the constant, we can write the identity matrix of the same order. So this is 2 dot i minus 3 dot A plus A square. This will always be equal to 0. So this is the Cali Hamilton theorem. We can use this theorem to find out the powers of the matrices and even we can also find out the inverse of the matrix using this Cali Hamilton theorem, which we will see in the next upcoming lecture.